everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing year-to-date results for 2020. This has been a very, very good year and it's really started to pick up um, in the last month because obviously we've had a tremendous amount of volatility in the market and that actually makes for great trading. So if you're someone that doesn't understand what active traders do or how you could possibly make money in, in, when, when the market's dropping, you can short. And that's something that I actually teach people how to do. And I actually prefer to short for active day trading rather than go long because shorts move faster. And a lot of people don't know how to short, don't know the right placement to short, don't understand how to short. And I'm telling you right now that, that this year um, is just starting to shape up so amazing. So this is 2020 results so far year to date for the day trade room. Uh, if you want to join the live room, you must take my Golden Gap course first to join the room. Uh, everyone in the room is a student. Year to date results are 228,663 and this is with an average risk of about 2,500 per trade. Some were a little bit less but I give that average. Now, you don't have to risk an advanced amount. You could risk a beginner amount. You could risk $100 per trade, $200 a trade, and you can talk to me about that if you have questions as well. Feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you wanna sign up, or call me at 929-3200-GAP. And again, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So April will begin second quarter earnings season. It's really gonna be exciting to see what happens. Uh, so usually a very active time in the market and we're getting into the last week of March next week and I can't wait to see what happens with the earnings for some of these companies. So we're going to talk now about going back again, started out the year off a few days, then Com was a loser, first trade, second one was break even, BA was a big winner. BA pretty much has been such a huge winner this year, I can't even tell you. And, and again, I prefer to short, that stock has been dropping, dropping like a tank. Uh, then the seventh Tesla, two trades, first one loser, second one winner. Sometimes I do a retake, you'll learn that in the class. WBA was a loser, SPY was a winner, QQQs was a winner, KSS was a nice winner, Foot Locker was a loser, SIX was a loser, and then the second trade, big winner. EXAS was a winner, WFC, first trade loss, JPM didn't work. 15th off, April, um, uh, I'm sorry, Apple on the 16th was a loser, SPY was a winner, Qs were a winner, and Apple's second trade was a winner. Then the 17th was five Qs, both winners, IBM was a loser. Close the 20th, UAL was a winner, and the 22nd, no trades. Diamonds, two trades, first one, loser, second one, winner. CMCSA was a winner. DFS was a winner on the 24th. 27th, win was a loser, both trades. DFS was a winner, SPY break even, AAL was a loser, and SPY was a winner on the 27th. 28th, MMM was break even, and then the second trade a winner, PFE was a winner, and both trades were winners. AMD was a winner on the 29th, 30th was Facebook lost, Microsoft lost, Cree was a winner, and DD was a big, big winner. 31st was WWE lost, WWE second trade loss, and CBX was a winner, and Facebook was a winner too. No trades on the third, Disney was a loser on the fourth, Microsoft was a winner, MRK was a loser, uh, Ford was a small winner on the 5th. Snap was a big winner. That was earnings. TWLL was a loser. QCOM loser. Microsoft winner. GOOS was a loser. Marvel winner. T2 winner. Then on the 10th, Lily was a loser. T2 was a winner. Twitter was a big winner. The 11th was UA lost. And then the second trade won. QQQs was a winner. Lyft was a winner on the 12th. NTEP lost on the uh, 13th, Cisco was a loser, and then NTEP, retake didn't work at all on NTEP. So two losers in NTEP on that day. Yelp was a loser, Cisco was a winner. EXPE, two trades lost, one worked. CAG was a nice winner on the 18th. 19th was a SPY was a winner, Apple was a winner. 20th was LB was a loser, SIX was a loser, Apple was a loser, SPY was a loser. B was break even, uh, MS was a winner, SIX was a loser, this was a very active day, v VIAC was a winner, AAN was a big winner, and STMP was a winner. That was a really, really active day. 21st was Viacom lost, FSLR was a winner, and BA was a winner. 24th AAL was a winner, 25th EXAS was a winner, Tull was a winner on the 26th. 27th, SPY lost, Q's lost, Microsoft lost, AAL lost, 
Then it was break even. CCL was a winner. SPY was a winner. Q's was a winner. Boeing was a winner. Both trades. BYND then was a winner as well. Then on in March, Twitter lost on the first two, one in the second trade. CCL was a loser. Q's was a loser. CCL then two nice wins. Big wins in that. CCL then won on the fourth. BA was a huge trade on the fifth. Microsoft on the 6th, March has been a good month. March, uh, Microsoft was a big winner. SPY lost, Boeing lost on that one, and the SPY won on the 6th. No trades on the 9th. Stitch Fix was a loser. Boeing was a big winner on the 10th. SPY was a loser, then the second trade winner. Boeing was a big winner, and the QQQs was a, a winner on the 11th. And then this week, the room's been closed. Uh, the market's halted a few times in the last week, so we want to settle it down. They're closing the New York Stock Exchange floor in New York on Monday, as of Monday. Two people have the coronavirus, so I'm kind of waiting to get to hear here if they're going to uh, have limited hours on the market going into the next week. So for, for my plan of action is normal trading on Monday, the 23rd. If they're going to decide to change market hours or limit market hours, then I, we should know by, I think, the end of this week. Today is Thursday, so I'm waiting to hear. But there was a lot of halts in the last few days, so I thought, let's take it easy, let things settle out, figure out where we're going from here, get back to normal Monday. And people have made so much money with me here today. A lot of people are busy right now trying to gather themselves together to work from home. So if you work from home, you have more time to trade and when you, if you normally wouldn't. So that's the benefit. Now, if you've been thinking about trading and want to trade, you can jump into it now because you're doing it from home. And you can do your job from home and trade from home. We usually trade in the morning. So all of these trades are in the morning. And again, an advanced trader risk is about $2,500 per trade. It is so nice to work for yourself, not only from home, but to be able to trade the market. It's financial freedom. Right now, a lot of people are having a lot of issues right now where they're being laid off or their hours are cut back or they can't go to work and the companies aren't covering them or they're having to file for unemployment because they're making businesses close, at least temporarily, and they don't know when they're open. If you can trade, you can make money from home and you work for yourself. You're not relying on another business, and that's so critical right now, so important right now. I'm so grateful that I know how to do this, actually. So you can make money trading one strategy. My strategy is a Golden Gap course. It works. If you're interested and you want to sign up, it's perfect timing because a lot of people are indoors, and it's a good time to read. It's a good time to educate yourself, and it's a great time to trade. So the class is March 28th and 29th, 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Class tuition is $69.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Then I am doing the trends course on the 31st, 11 to 3. This is a combo deal. It's $74.99. Again, all classes are online, which helps everybody. So think about getting involved this year. If you have not been trading or if you haven't done well since the beginning of the year or as well as the stock swish clients have, then you can, you can start something new. Now is the time to learn something new. If you're losing, stop losing for Pete's sakes. I mean, I, I just can't believe the horror stories I've heard. And, and then again, I, I'm so happy that my clients are doing so, so, so well. So if you have questions, email me at melissathestockswish.com. I'm hyper-focused right now. I'm doing a great job for myself and everyone around me. If you need any information, call me, email me, reach out, stay safe, and we'll talk soon.